Hello, my name is Tim Fagan from Neptune Chemical Pump and today we're going to show you how to convert a manual stroke on a 500 series pump and converting it over to an electric stroke controller. Well, first of all, when you order the, the controller itself, it comes in a little package assembly. Controller, the adapter, and the control rod and nut. Now the nut is already threaded onto the shaft of the controller here, but most times you'll get it loose. All you have to do is thread it onto the shaft of the controller. Now what we recommend is to use blue Loctite, or it's called breakable Loctite, and thread it on and just wrench it on. So first, first thing you do is remove the manual stroke knob from the, the pump itself. There are two screws uh, that are removed from the front of the pump. Put them aside. And you'll turn your knob counterclockwise until it's removed from the pump. You'll see that the indicator plate, the knob, and the control rod will come out with the knob. So, and you'll see, you'll notice that the control rod is the same one as the one that's on the stroke controller. You put that aside. Next is your sealing nut. Your sealing nut, you'll notice that it has a hex on it. That hex is 11 16 So what we do is, we'll get ourselves a socket, ratchet, 11 16 obviously, and we wanna remove the sealing nut. We slide the pump over here. Now you see how easy that was to take out? Now if you have it out in the field, it's going to be a little bit tighter. So you just get yourself a mallet and just kind of break that loose. And this is your ceiling nut. Put that aside. Next is your adapter. Your adapter will thread the controller onto the pump. You'll notice that there's threads on the outside, threads on the inside. Now you'll also see this hole, we call this a weep hole. We want that weep hole to be at four to eight o'clock on the bottom half of the pump when you thread the adapter in. Just because uh, if there's ever a leak in the pump, uh, we want to be able to see that leak, so we want the weep hole to be at the bottom of the pump. And there are a set of shims that come with the controller, and in this, in this case, we'll need three shims to make sure that that hole is at the bottom half of the, uh, of the pump. So we'll put our shims in, bottom up against the ceiling plate that's inside, Get the adapter, thread it onto the pump. And you'll, you'll notice that the, that weep hole is at about five o'clock, which is perfect. Now, when you tighten this adapter down, you wanna make sure it's tight. So you can get yourself a spanner wrench and put it into the hole and kind of tighten it down or a strap wrench to tighten it down because we don't want this too loose. All right, so we want to kind of tighten it down so it's not going to move. Next is your controller. Again, your control rod and nut are already on the shaft of the controller. And again, if it's not, just thread it onto the shaft with that breakable Loctite. And you take your controller, there's threads here, and the control rod here, you'll You'll put it in and you'll see a hole inside the pump and you slide it on and then you just thread the controller on to get that there. Once it starts to thread on, 
point the pump over a little bit, you'll see that there's threads here. <clears throat> when you start turning, this nut that gets locked onto the adapter, you want to, sh once you lock that, that nut down, you want to see like two threads on the outer side of that nut. So we'll turn a little bit more. And then once we're about two threads, we tighten down our nut a little bit until it butts up against the adapter, just like so. And you'll see a few threads here. And then what we'll do is make sure this is level. And then we'll tighten down that nut. And what I recommend is just to grab yourself a little screwdriver, rubber mallet, and just lock it down. And that's it. One thing I did want to point out is this is a 500 series pump. Our 6,000 and um, 600 pumps are relatively the same. Um, just everything will be, the adapters might be a little bit different than the 500 series, but the general training that we've done today will uh, be the about the same as the 600 and 6,000 series pumps. Thank you. Thank you.